Kembo Kembo na Tatanzambi ya Mazulu Yenge away nu siembi Kembo Tekeno Betwabu Dumalang Salbona Betwabu Betwabu Kembo hallelujah banabetu isolele scattered across the earth and to all the non banabetu we greet you as well Wikichi Kwisi Ambote, welcome once again to another teaching. Zolele Kutu Vivile, do you want to listen to us? This is your choice. Um, you do not have to. This ministry is not for everyone, but it's only for those that have sought out the truth and looking to get away from the lies. People will think we're crazy, which is the whole point of why it's called like the days of Noka or Noah, which is fine. Um, the reality is many people will soon see what we're talking about and why people are so uh, defiant as to how they think they're going to win this fight when they don't understand. You know, I'm, I'm going to show you uh, the difference between those who really work for Tatanzambi and those who are really still going back behind your back and contributing to Esau or Cain or Baal. Uh, deceivers and it all comes down to who's writing the check okay who's paying the bills you know that's why in this ministry i do not fear the fact that i know that they want to try to destroy me financially or whatever because i don't fear with the god that they fear i fear that the zombie and pungu i'm a congo and only him do I fear because that's why I do not do any of the mixing of the pagan and the non-pagan. And the problem is there are those who be in, who think they fear the God of Abana, Saka, Yukubi, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is in Zambia and Pungu. There's a reason why you don't know that name is because they do not want the Bana Zambi, Bana Isolide to unlock their power that I will show you is connected to why you think these gods that they keep telling your mythology went away. When as a matter of fact, I got a visitation from Zeus. <laughs> of course, uh, people would say, oh, that's a fake God. It doesn't exist. I'm going to show you just how ignorant Christianity and the rest of the scientific community controlled by this God is going to keep lying to you because they know that everything is about keeping the inheritance and everything is about continuously deceiving the masses about who they serve and why they, because they know in the highest of realms of the wealthy and the super elites, these guys are part of their everyday activities. All right, uh, Kimball, this is why Tatanzambi said, we do not have nothing to do with them and you will see the difference between the Ngolo of Nzambi and Pungu and the Ngolo and the power of, of the felt of, of Lucifer. Like a, a sister called me, she wanted to know, you know, the, about the theft of the power. And it's all about whom do you, that's why it says in your honor, you know not what you worship. When he says this, he's talking about Lucifer and the different forms that he comes in. Salvation comes through the Bayuda, the Benan Zambi, the Bena Isolili. Okay, we're going to talk about the deception of the God that you call B A A L because the Egyptians, as you will now find out, call him the God of Thunder. The name for him by the Greeks is Zeus. So, this is why, as I'm going to show you. When you're traveling outside, you see a thunderstorm just going out crazy. That's him. When you see hurricanes, tornadoes, and I'm going I'm to start breaking down when they keep saying, oh, Esau's the white man. Cain, and Cain is the thunderstorm. Esau is the thunderstorm. The tornadoes, the, the earth, all these things are connected to spiritual entities. Malikis. There's good Malikis and there's bad Malikis. This is why Tatanzambi has said Satan has deceived the whole world. 
because they do not understand what they worship because they never stop worshiping the Canaanite gods, but they're just made to think you did. This is why you're getting your knowledge from two different sources that's leaving people confused. Christianity thinks they have power. When's the last time you went outside and told a thunderstorm to stop? Do you even know what to say? No. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Allah. Okay. The thunderstorm is Jesus. This is what they're not telling you. It's a lie. Isaiah Kono from Yesu Yesuway, so Nina Nini. So Nina simply talking about all of the names. So Nina Nina Samana means the mighty I am that I am. Tatan Zambi and Pungu. Okay, you're going to get people who want to keep talking about the names, confusing people. But the name they do not like you to say is Congo. But even if you say it, that doesn't mean that you're not taking part of the money you receive and handing it right back to Esau. It's a lie for many people that don't understand. I have said this to you. The person who teaches you must be making you more powerful than the thunderstorm you see outside. We're going to get real today. When does a pastor tell you how to stop a tornado? I have told you my story that when I first came into the knowledge of things, I had the ability to pray to the Most High and it turned the hurricane away from Puerto Rico. They don't even know. You want to know who, why you got hit again? You want to know why Donald Trump was treating you so bad? Because he's the God of the hurricane. And I made him move it. Ah, you're going to be shocked. I'm going to bounce some big bombs today. <laughs> you don't even know. He's Kaina. He is Baal. Like many of them that, well, remember they showed the movie, what was it called, uh, Hercules? And they used to show how Zeus would come down from Mount Olympus and he'd walk around like a man in the show that never stopped they're still doing that you don't even know they see them in hollywood they see them in the who's running this is these are the people running the nfl the nba the uh the the entertainment industry your politicians this is why they don't want you to think this guy is crazy because it's all a lie they know the Bakongo people, the Benan Zambi, the Bene Isun, they could control the gods of Olympus and the gods of Rome. Oh, but they don't exist. You better believe they do. Your kids are walking around wearing their clothes every day for Halloween and going to school in their shirts. They know they're still being worshipped today. They're just hiding themselves so you don't know the people who could control them are the people who need to be having the power. Okay? The name Israel was only invented not even 200 years ago. You don't want to believe me? That's your choice. Because they knew when they took us from the from the kingdom of Congo de Totila, we were saying Isaiele. Rome knows it. The Arabs know it. Everybody knows it. But you. Okay. You can tell, like I told his brother, why don't they want to have your power back? You can tell the leaders of the families of Earth what to do. The Medici's, the the uh, the Conti's, the the Kennedys. They come out there. They endorsing Joe Biden now. Kuswa Congo was controlling the Kennedy administration. He can manipulate anybody. That's why they don't like it. Mata Danzami can control any entity to do his will, against their will. 
when they don't like it. You have free will, but the most I can tell people what to do. You say no, boom, they come the big bombs. Okay? The world doesn't even know. Snowstorm is another Malay. You don't even get it. They mocking you. They laughing at you. They know that they're doing rituals to these gods. I'm going to show you the scripture that talks about the Asherah pole. The Asherah pole is all around America, and you don't even see it. Your curses are on you every day. As Banabe to Evisolele, the other nations, this is their gods. This is why they prosper when we suffer. And then we have to do so much and sacrifice so much to get it because like the Hosea chapter 2 says, you never catch up to your gods. You will never be equal to these gods when you're serving under them to these lovers. That's why you go to church, you pray. And like I was telling this one brother, I said, look, it's physically impossible for the person to comprehend this ignorance. You go to church as much as the guy that's coaching the NFL team. And he's going to have millions of dollars and you have hundreds of dollars. And you're praying to the same God. And you love him the same. It doesn't make sense. You cannot have a person living homeless, praying every day to Jesus, to God, Allah, whatever. And then the other person is making all kinds of money. There's something going on, as I will describe it. Okay? They're not getting that money the way you think. It's a lie. They have a hidden secret that they're not allowed to talk about. And they know it. Okay. I'm playing my song. Again, I don't own the rights to the song. It's not for redistribution of any kind. I'm going to share my screen. Once again, I want to ask you in Ketin Gekele Ya Kuyilama Sambu Nakuja Barulo. Are you ready to eat the scrolls? Play the song.
bote, un bote. All right. We're going to really get serious today about some things. Because I'm going to talk about our power, why they want to keep you locked up. I'm just going to put these list of names up. You can look them up. If you can even see that in Greek mythology, it talks about these beings of thunder, the thunder gods. One of them happens to be SET. Okay, this is actually the same thing as Esau. That's why I keep trying to tell people Esau is not a race, but a spirit. They want you to keep thinking like this because he's the one paying them. Okay, whoever writes the check, this whole thing about nonprofits and everything like that, the banking system, this is why it's going to fall. Because Tatan Zombie knows that the banking system is Cain, and Cain is not just a bloodline, he's also spirit, destructive spirit, in fact. Now, you see the names. You have all of these different names of, of thunder gods. You go down, you see what they're called in Roman and Greek mythology. Now, this is going to show you how people don't know how to read their Bible. You're going to jump over to Jeremiah verse 50. And I'm going to be NIV for now, but then I'll change it. And this is where I'm going to show you when they had me read the scripture about lifting up my banner. And this is where the Congo flag came from when I realized the name of our father was Tata Congo. Okay? Because the, the deception is for those who are woke, we know we're in Babylon. And our God, we call him Zambia and Pungu, Amakongo, Yahweh, the star. You know, that's the thing about it. Christians say, oh, we know Jesus. Then what's the name of the star that he was born under? He'll tell you. You'll find out. The Holy Spirit knows. That's why when I keep trying to talk about the difference between being under the star of the Most High and being under the star of Lucifer, you cannot be under both. This is what we're talking about. The morning star, Lucifer, versus the most high, the real morning star, because it's good and bad and everything, okay? Oh, I wanted to say this before I go forward. Sorry, I need to type this in. This is something that we used to do, but we don't we don't worship it. Now we're gonna see how God's name is gonna change in this. Beto, people you you probably even heard people named Beto. Huh? Beto que pes, pesaca. Pesaca is where you get the word Passover, by the way. See that word Pesaka? That means Passover. Lukumu nantangu umpi nangonde yanzambe. We honor them, the sun and the moon, but we also honor all kembo de tatanzambe and pungu tulenda akongo yave. We honor all of the maliki makongo, asalama maliki makongo. Beto, Beto na tatanzambe and pungu, fumu yisu kuswa kongo. Beto, Namwanda Velala, Mwanda na Nkulu Kulu. We give honor to Tanzambi and Pungu always. All Basantu of the Mba Kalunga. Bayetu and Kosi. Lamilia verse 50, Jeremiah. Announce. This is the word of Ntambi and Pungu, the Fumu Yahweh Kongo. If you really go understand, if you look up the name, the name I'm going to, this is why they don't tell you this. 
This is why when you keep saying Lord, you go look up the etymology, you're going to see the name is going to pop up. It means he was title and honorific meaning owner or Lord of the Northwest Semitic languages spoken in the Levant during antiquity. Okay. That's why people don't understand what you're really saying. That they put his name in the Bible. That's why I said he wrote the Bible, but they put in Zambia and Pungo in there. They put King Congo in the scriptures in Zambia and Pungu, and then they said, because that's the whole concept, I'm going to show you once again, if you say you have the word of God, the word of God is the Messiah from the beginning, meaning he knows the whole scriptures that has been real and changed. The reason why they want to emphasize the book so much is because this takes your power to bail as a Bantu Bena Isodele. That's why Kim Bangu said we don't throw it away, but we use it against the thief. The thief is Baal. And I just gave you who he is, okay? He is the god of thunder for the um, Egyptians. All right, and I was going to show you, they talk about the speed of light and everything, and this thing that actually says it's the measurements of the power of Giza. Correct, because you're the, the one, the thing that has, the what has the speed of light is Hermes. Okay, people talk about angels watching over me. Yeah, these, this is the ones, uh, Baal and, and her, the, the dazzle, they're watching over the imposters because they're still playing the good the good angel bad angel stuff like they did in the days of Rome and Greece that's why i told people christians are so deceived oh this person the, the devil tried to kill him and the angel saved them well okay the same thing happened to the buddhists what angel tried to save them the muslim the jewish man that speak that's you know that doesn't even accept jesus christ you have them get in these situations where they almost died and then it's like something saved them. This is the same game that Lucifer has been playing so that he receives the, the glory and not the most high. Okay? The Maliki Congo, the crown kingdom, only have to deal with the people who come from there. Now, but they can use you in circular. That's why we, we go and we help people. You are the angel. When we're talking about angels unaware, that's the Banabetu of Isolele. That's why they want to keep people unaware that they are abusing the people that are really the true angels that they don't even know about. Because they want to assume this concept of color when they have been lied to and they know this pale skin is the curse not the melanated skin this is native americans told the europeans that when they got here <laughs> okay then they knew because they understood the most High's law statutes and commandments then there were native americans that knew the ten commandments before christians even even showed up Go sit down somewhere. Christianity did not teach no Native American the Ten Commandments. It's bull crap. I'll just say it like that. There were Native Americans that knew the Most High Law, Statutes, and Commandments before the Christmas even got off the boat. Quit lying to people. <laughs> we knew them already even before they showed up in, in the Congo. We knew all the commandments already. We didn't need the Christians to teach us garbage. We taught them. Christians killed the Messiah. They're going to find this out because that was the worship of Zeus. That was what the biggest lie is. Pontius Pilate was Christianos when he killed Isaiah, Congo, Fumuyisu. 
or when he sent, when he put when he did the crucifixion, the three strikes in your out the real cross when they talk about the cross of Saint Andrew, that's a mockery. They 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 crucified all of us on those X's because Cain was Batar, pretending to be the Most High. They had specific bojimas, what they call uh, crosses of Ukulusu, but our kingdom was known as the X Kingdom. <laughs> Because when, when Nimrod's tower fell, it made the cross. Then he turned it sideways to say, I'm the most high now. They don't even know what it is they worship. It's clueless. All right. Even after he got it, whoop, he's still telling people he's the most high. Go sit down somewhere. And by the way, he is also Thor, the god of Odin. And he running around here doing thunderstorms and everything. Oh, you don't even know. You've been deceived. Watch this. Announce and proclaim among the nations. Lift up a banner and proclaim it. Keep nothing back but say Babylon will be captured. B-E-L will be put to shame. Now let's go back to the list of the thunder gods. Oh, here we go. Mesopotamian. This god. This dragon. And this is here. Oh, the reason why they're going to call this God a woman is because it was both. That's why you get the whole thing about the hermaphrodite stuff. In the Most High's kingdom, everything was always male, female. So all the mixing of, 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 of all the mixing of the of the sexual stuff starts with the witch, L I L I. Okay. The one they want to call, and this is all with her. It says, um, that's why it says she's both man and woman, but she's really woman. Marduk, filled with terror, her images will be put to shame because that's why it said, Lily come both as male and female. But really, this is the whole concept behind the goat god mentality. A nation from the north will attack her and lay her waste. No one will live in it. Now, this is why they keep talking about the connection between Russia and the old Babylon is still there. But then Babylon has now moved itself over towards in the Americas, across Europe, and it is the whole system of the world. All the banks. Okay. But see, they won't ever teach you this because who they who pay their checks? They know. You will lose your pension, your everything, you start telling the truth. Even if you're a pastor, they will never teach you this because they get paid by B-A-A-L and they're not going to tell you that. Okay? In those days at the time, declares the Infumu, the people of Isolele and the people of Yaoundé together will go in tears to seek the Infumu their Infumu. We're in the repeat once again because we never stop learning how to worship everybody else, God, but ours. The Jesus Christ you're praying to is Dale. It's a lie. There's there's a good there's a good Messiah and there's a bad Messiah. How do you know the difference? They don't ever teach you that because you're talking to the one who is bad, who is the hypocrite. Okay. They turn, they will face Zioni and turn their faces toward it. They will come and bind themselves to the Infumu and the everlasting covenant that will not be forgotten. I meant to pull up second Ezra. I'm going to talk about the people who are going to be bound if I can find it. I meant to do that before I started. Because it talks about the people coming rejoicing. I think it's chapter five. Let's see. I think it's just some of the end gathering. Well, do this comparison when he compares uh, Babylon with Zioni. This is how you're going to know you worship the wrong God. Watch this. Then I said in my heart in Timo, are the deeds of those who inhabit Babylon any better is, is this why she has gained dominion over Sioni, which has happened again. 
For when I came here, I saw ungodly deeds without number, and my soul was seeing many sinners during these 30 years. And my heart failed me, for I have seen how this endured those who sin, and who has spared those who are at, who, and has spared those who act wickedly, and has destroyed thy people, and has preserved thy enemies. Okay, this is why you're going to see this is our problem. People say, why do black people get treated so bad? It's not all black people. It's a specific demographic that they know it's a lineage. That's the one that's catching it because they know how you identify with the numbers that you actually affiliate with and your bloodline and your registration. They know the difference in the world, who's who. But they don't tell you that when you go to the doctor, when you go anywhere else, that you're, that you're tagged like a cow when it comes to who's who, okay, they know that. Um, as destroyed and has not shown the main comprehending, as the, are, are the deeds of Babylon better than those of Zioni? Or has another nation known thee besides the Solomon? Or what tribes have been, see so now, and especially when you talk about with Christians, okay? Never can you say that you can be affiliated with the group of people that had the covenant dealing with all of this curse. Because Christians have wealth as well as poverty. The problem is you are sharing this wealth when the Mosai, when he had his kingdom, we didn't share our wealth with anybody unless we were asked to give it to somebody. It's a lie, okay? You didn't share the inheritance, it was ours. And then on the top of that, what gate are you going through when you're gonna die? Oh, everybody's going through the gate of Judah because we know the Messiah. That's a, I'm telling you, it's fabrication. Because you have to come, you actually have to bring the sheep back that are his. That's why they're not telling you who they are in order to be connected to this. All right. Like I said, it's all about Jeremiah 23, about keeping his people from sin. No, his people are sinning all the time because they're not being told the truth. So they're causing themselves to be destroyed. And that's what makes him angry. Okay. My heart fell for I have seen that thou endured those who sin and has spared those who act wickedly and has destroyed the people and has preserved the enemy and has not shown to anyone how they may be comprehended. Are the deeds of Babylon better than those of Sioni? Or has another nation known thee besides Israelite? Or what tribes have so believed thy covenants as these of the tribe of Jacob, the Kubi? Here's the covenant part again. Yet their reward was not appeared, and their labor has been has borne no fruit. For I have traveled widely among the nations, and have seen that they abound in wealth, though they are unmindful of thy commandments. So here you're seeing what we're talking about. You have nations who do not honor the father, but yet they are wealthy. So this can apply to a place like America, like Britain, like France. Now you see how they're complaining, oh, France is going broke. Yeah, because see, the Most High is remembering. See, he is now remembering all of the uh, wickedness of the harlots and the children of her. Okay, because now you're going to understand as the next months come undone, who's really whom, who's who, who was really with the Most High and who isn't, because they will prosper and the people will fail. Like I told people, you're going to see how people are going to act when the, we you haven't seen nothing yet, when the bank doesn't cash the check anymore because the finances are now locked up with Tatan Zombie and no longer accessible by Cain, which is going to be a reality that's going to shock many people. How did this happen? 
because the angels of Tatan Zombie can never be denied when they come to collect because they have way more power than Lucifer's kingdom and there's nothing that they can do about it. Hand it over. We can't do nothing about it. What? Hand it over. He took, they said they're coming to get it. Hand it over. There's nothing we can do. What do you mean there's nothing you can do? Do you understand what I just said? There's nothing we can do. Hand it over. That's going to be the reality that's coming here. All right? Yet the nations have seen that they're bound in wealth. Now, therefore, weigh in the balance of her iniquities and those of the inhabitants of the world. And so it will be found which way the turn of the scale will incline. When have the inhabitants of the earth not sinned in thy sight? Or what nation has kept thy commandment so well? Thou mayest indeed find individual men who have kept the commandments, but nations you will not find. Again, there is no nation in the world that keeps the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. It is a fallacy. There is no church doing this. There is no uh, mosque doing this. There is no temple doing this. There's no religion keeping the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments that you will find on this earth. Okay, they're all hypocrites. And now they're going to pay for it. <laughs> okay. Then the Maliki that had been sent to me, whose name was Uriel or Uriah, answered and said to me, your understanding has utterly failed regarding the world. And do you think you can comprehend the way of the most high? Ya Kongo. So nini na nini. Okay. Then I said, yes, my infumu. We didn't say Lord. Let me show you. The word L-O-R-D. Infumu. That was our word. It would say, oh, well, every other nation has their own way to call Lord. Oh, blah, blah, blah. So you're going to get it from the Christian. And I would, okay, once again, are you more powerful than the thunderstorm outside in your body to call and tell it to stop? Because that's the Holy Spirit. That is what the real Messiah did. Um, Toko could do it. Kimbango could do it. All of the gun gun zombies that have power, I even was able to demonstrate this to my grandson. If you know what to do, you don't know what to do. You're talking about in the name of Jesus when Jesus is the thunderstorm. It's Zeus. Of course, he can pretend, though, oh, I got to look good. You know, people don't get it. But now go raise the dead in the name of Jesus. Let's see what happened there. <laughs> yeah, you're going to find out you got it wrong. Go change water to wine in the name of Jesus. You know, Yisu, he understood. I'm telling you, man, people are going to find out it's about the spirit. The spirit is what does these things. Okay. I have sent thee and put before you the okay. I have sent to show you the three ways and put before you three problems. If you can solve one for me, I will show you the way you desire and teach you why the heart is evil. I said, speak, my fumu. Go away from me the weight of the fire. See, this is why I'm telling you, Malik is gonna make you look stupid when you think you know more than the most high. A measure for me the measure of the wind. Or call back for me the day that is past. This is one of the reasons why they wanted to invent time travel. And I, I, by the way, I told people one of the things I'm going to start doing in my ministry. I have this book. And the thing about it is I know this comes from us. It's called The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. And I know people are going to be, you know, they don't like to talk about it. And, um. One of the things that I'm going to show you that's affecting your power is parasites. 
because of, of, of what you eat. And one of the things that I saw in there, and it makes perfect sense why people like to eat it, is plantain. Okay, I gotta go get me some more because I'm gonna start eating plantain. Them <laughs> they got black eyed Susan, chicory, cottonwood, uh, El Campain, fever few, garlic. Garlic is good for intestinal worms, mugwort. Okay. Why do I say that? Because everything, and that's why when we talk about what Dr. Sibi said, is about mucus. I mean, I'm trying to see if they had it in here. See, I have, I, I, I can deal with IBS, and this is why we talk about praying over things. Okay. I find it funny that they keep talking about wormwood when wormwood is supposed to be the spiritual thing that you're supposed to be getting rid of things. <laughs> All right. See, we as a guy about who talked about activated charcoal. That's good for people with food poisoning. That's why people go and they talk about using charcoal to deal with, with spells, because that's mainly what that is. All right. Um, and every time I do my teachings, I'm going to talk about, you know, they talk about for heartburn, it has something called Jerusalem artichoke, salal, stone root, water plantain, uh, slippery elm and stuff like that. But I'm not a doctor, so I'm making that disclaimer that this is not any by any means for healing as far as, you know, we are here to show our people how to restore uh, certain things for ourselves. And this is what Tatanzambi has given us ways and other, 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 nations, other nations have copied us. But true healing comes from the, that's what we talk about praying. I would say always pray over this because the healing comes from the Maliki Raphael Zambi, or Raphael. But in order to even interact with him, you have to be in the right spirit. Because I'm telling you, you cannot be calling on. See, people don't understand in Christianity, Beelzebub is your God. In Islam, the same thing with Islam, the same thing with Judaism, and it's the same thing with all the other Buddha and everything else, and Hindu and Krishna and these things. So, of course. You know, I was showing my wife that they, once again, the green mile came on. I said, yeah, that's the real Holy Spirit. That's why Lucifer wants those people to disappear. Simon Toko was like that. Kim Bong, that's one of the, I think the really thing about it is this was a way of them showing you people like Simon Kimbong and Simon Toko that had abilities while they were imprisoned to do things that were very much miraculous that they covered up. Okay. So now he's saying that there's no way I can do this. And he's, I answered, who of those have been born can do this? Can you ask me concerning these things? And he said to me, if I had asked you how many dwellings are in the heart of the sea or how many streams are the source of the deep, or how many streams are above the firmament, above the firmament. So you have streams above the firmament, which means you have other realms, which, which are the exits of hell, or which are the exits of hell, or which are the entrances of the paradise. Perhaps you would say to me, I never went down into the deep, nor, is, nor as yet into hell, neither have I ascended into heaven. But now I have asked you about fire, wind, and the day that things before through which you have passed, which you cannot, which you cannot exist, and you have given me no answer about them. And he said to me, you cannot understand the things which you have grown up. And how can you mind, comprehend the way of the Most High? That's why they don't want this, this scripture in the Bible, because they want Christianity to think that they can comprehend the way of the Most High, and they are clueless. Okay, not even close. And how can one who is already worn out by the corrupt world understand incorruption? 
That's the whole purpose of why they created a world where you always are stressed out. People don't understand that that's part of the plan. You cannot be, it says, if you are worn out by the corruption, then how can you understand in corruption? This is why I tell people, don't let, you see people talk about how corrupt the government is. Yeah, I talk about it. But I'm like, hey, this is the type of stuff we can't let it get worn out because it's always going to be like this for people who have no comprehension. That's why I'm saying you, you see these people standing up there in front of these politicians and every last one of these people makes sacrifices to the devil and they're lying about it. Okay. When I heard this, I fell on my face. I said unto him, it would be better for us not to be here than to come here in, in ungodliness and to suffer and not understand why. Now, just to tell you, you see this word F-O-R-E-S-T? That's actually the name of a demon. <laughs> you can go look it up. When they say run for it, run. It's like, yeah, that's a demon. But just put, we'll look at the word that's in Congo. Mfinda. All right. He asked me, he said, I went into the infender of the trees of the plain, and they were made a plan. Come, let us go and make war against the sea that it may recede before us, and that we make ourselves more mfinda, bafinda. And in like manner, the waves of the sea also made a plan and said, Come, let us go and subdue the bafinda of the plain so that there we can go more territory for ourselves. So what he's showing you is that the sea and the trees are living creatures. Oh, but a scientist will tell you, no. Okay, then how does this happen when you see um, sand all of a sudden overcome or, or, or you see a forest, a mafinda will overcome and overgrow something? Okay, and this is also with both spirits, uh, uh, good and bad spirits. You don't even know. Go upon the earth, okay? He asked me, you have judged rightly, okay? I answered, it is made a foolish plan for the land is assigned to the forest and the sea is assigned to a place that carries its way. So that's the whole concept. You have people that have a foolish plan that says we can go and overcome the most high. But yet they can't tell the weight. They cannot move the water. Or they cannot move the sand. Or they cannot move the forest in different places. Oh, go put the forest in the ocean. All of it. Huh? Okay. That's the whole concept. Is many people are operating under a foolish plan because the, the zombies like you're under a strong delusion. Okay. Now I was gonna talk, I was gonna see if I can find the scripture that talks about when the people come back. Okay. We're going to read this concerning the signs of the end because we're there. You know, people don't want to believe me. It's happening. Now concerning the signs, behold, the days are coming when those who dwell on the earth shall be seized with great terror. And the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith. Correct. Because you're already in this time because the faith that people are having in is in the wrong God. They just don't know it. And unrighteousness shall be increased. This is what Toko and Kimbangu prophesied about when they came. This world is on barren of faith. Okay? Because they're preaching to Nimrod and they don't know it. But then to tell them that, oh no, I know the most high. No, I'm telling you, they don't. Because the reality is, if they knew the most high like they think they do, they would understand that Lucifer is always challenging his servants. Never stop. 
and you will see who's who out here and not just guess. You'll see, like they say, I have one who can see and they live, a Maya Mona, and I talked about the Maya Mona list. Their job is to eliminate the Maya Mona list while they're pretending that they're not. And they have come up with all kinds of ways you cannot even imagine to destroy the wheat because you don't know who's on the list. Oh, I know Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I'm on the list. Uh, you're on the list of Cain because that's who that is. Yesterday, Hamasiah, Yesu Christo Fusco Congo, the real Messiah is not Cain, is not the sorcerer. And the way you know the difference, like I watched these people that were talking in tongues, the tongues that you're speaking in in these churches is Druid chanting. 100%. The Druids go out there, okay? When you, when you heard that, rock, da, 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 like that lady, Paula White, she was casting spells on everybody. You could see it coming around her mouth if you could see it. Da, 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 da. There's spells coming. You got witches and warlocks. I see the spells coming out of their mouth sometimes. Okay? When you see those, when they used to do those commercials, when they go, um, like when they used to put it on um, the, the little kids, and they would see the words and the, and the letters would come out of their mouth at cat, rat. And you see the words come out, okay? The most high, that's what he sees. He sees the incantation. He sees the, and it's a matrix looking thing because they all use numerology. They all, both sides. The most high has numerology and they have numerology and he's countering their numerology when he's making his changes that they don't even know that they like to call the black swan event. What the heck happened? We thought we had that. Okay. You're going to find out these things very soon. The land which is now ruling the waste untrodden men shall see it desolate. Correct. But the most high grants what you live that you live for shall it see thrown into confusion the third period. The way Ezra is living is through Bantu people. There's certain people who have his spirit. <laughs> he didn't die. And the sun shall suddenly shine forth at night. People have actually witnessed this already. And the moon during the day, that's why somebody said, I've never remember seeing the moon like this during the daytime. Yeah. Blood shall drip from the wood. Somebody actually did that. They were cutting open this um, tree and the blood was gushing out of it. I saw the picture. Okay. Uh, Yalam Kuvu does this over there in Africa. And the stone shall utter its voice. The people shall be troubled and the stars shall fall. Someone mentioned something about this thing about the stones talking. I, they, want, they haven't released the footage, but somebody mentioned this, that they saw the stones talking. That's probably going to come out pretty soon, though. And one shall reign whom those who dwell on the earth do not expect. And one shall reign whom those who dwell on the earth do not expect and the birds shall fly away together. This is gonna happen when they keep talking about what's going on with the birds, they're starting to disappear. Yeah, okay, because there's someone ruling that you don't even expect that he don't belong there, okay? He's chasing away the creation. He's not bringing it back. And the sea of Sodom shall cast up fish and one who many People keep talking about, you know, they see, they see these things beaching and they're trying to throw them back in the water. This is all part of the end of days. They're doing this because they're supposed to be. Okay. There shall be chaos in many places and fire shall break out and the wild beasts shall roam beyond their haunts and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. Oh, uh, yeah. They already done show you the people getting, you know, they talk about the jab. Okay, 
And they're like, whoa, what's going on with these children? <laughs> you know, they're changing, right? You already have children coming out like this. Why do you think people are saying, what is going on with these children today? They're acting crazy. Like they're possessed with something. Yeah, right here. It's in the scriptures, but they don't put it in there. The salt water shall be found in the sweet. And all friends shall conquer one another. That's why I told you what's getting ready to happen is the neighbors are going to turn on each other. They put it in the movies. You don't understand. They're using the, the scriptures like a playbook, playbook. But the Christians themselves think that they're on the good side of the playbook where they're on the wrong side. Okay? Because we were a bantue baptistu. Christianos was the worship of... Uh, Christianity is not a monotheistic religion. They are polytheistic. Shh. Because you are worshiping the multiple Egyptian gods pretending to be our God. Okay? Because Lucifer is multiple versions. He's not everywhere. But he's multiple versions of himself. The Most High is everywhere, but primarily he's in the land that we that we that we live. Okay. But he lives when the song says, He lives in you, he lives in me. That's not a lie. But the only way that in Simba Wayuda can live in you is if he is your shepherd. If he's not your shepherd, he's there. I'm telling you that right now. If he, if, if you don't, if, if you are not on the Maya Mona list in Simba Wayuda, he is not there. Okay? And it literally talks in the scripture where he said, I only came for and then he said, you, you come through them to get to me. This is the way it really works. You can only get to the Messiah and to the Father through the people that he came for. But you're going to have all of these people that's getting their paycheck from Esau that's going to keep distorting this. They say, oh, religion came from the white man. No, religion comes from Cain. Period. Kaina. Oh, there was no Cain in our belly. It was this and that. There was other. Adama had other children that turned to be bad because he was worshiping the dead gods that he should not have been doing. It, really, Mama, people keep saying, oh, the only wicked child that Mama Alva had was Cain. No. <laughs> okay. You're going to find out these things. But she is, when she was cleansed up by the Most High and he became cleansed up by the Most High, they returned to their status as king and queen of heaven. Mama Awa is Malia Makongo. Okay. That spirit is all one. The seven spirits of the Most High, we talk about the seven spirits. That's, that's really why they had seven churches, by the way. Each church represented the spirit. That's why he got mad. They worked together. So we go to the uh, scripture where it says, what are the seven spirits? Okay? People don't understand that when you're a particular one of these churches, you have a different spirit. Okay? So now... That's why I told you there's only seven churches. The, 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 the Protestant church is the protest of the church of Laodicea, and you never really left Rome because they, <laughs> they went back door on you. You're still doing the stuff that they taught you. The Christmas, the Easter, everything in the feast days that they have been doing, you're still following it. So you didn't leave them. You just, no, you, you, you're acting like they didn't know. So when you go to Revelation 1 and you talk about these,
the revelation of Infumiyusu, which Tatan Zambi, remember God is dog backwards, but you don't tell them, people ain't gonna believe you. Is is really Anubis, but whatever. Um where did it just go? I just saw it. You have the spirit of counsel. The spirit of, okay, here we go. You have the wisdom, understanding, counsel, might, knowledge, and the fear of the Lord, the fear of the Most High. These people do not fear the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because they don't even know who he is. Oh, I fear God. What God? Our God was in Fumuyave Congo, Tatanzami. You don't fear this guy. If you did, then you would know who's who. Okay? Lucifer is who you're fearing. And yet you don't even know it. Oh, no. There's no way I'm, I'm, I'm fearing the devil. Really? Then let's go see you go and preach where I'm preaching in the church. And your pastor going to know what I'm talking about. They're going to kick you out. Guaranteed in an American church, you go talking about Tatanzambi and Pungu, okay? They don't fear him. Cain don't fear him. Okay? Until you actually go and you buck up and you get power and it's like, wow! Oh, he's lightening up. You rise up in power like that and the fire come out of your hand. Oh, you're going to be feared all right. Oh, man, he put fire out his eyes. <laughs> we ain't got there yet. You're going to see it. Like they're doing Superman. Hey, you don't even know. So each one of these churches represented one. That's why when he went to them and said, you have lost your first love. That means they didn't fear him anymore. They were now bowing down to the idiot. Oh, okay, okay. No, man. This is why our people are suffering we're, we're bowing down to the lesser God and our power is now in his hands to where you don't even manifest the power to control the storms or the fire. You can put fire out. Man, you don't even need to call the fire department <laughs> with water. Oh, you're going to find out people have been deceived. You can put that fire out of your own house. If you truly manifest the power of the zombie, you can do these things you don't even know. You're going to see this start to happen really soon. <laughs> like when they did it in the Toyota Jackson's, can you feel it? Okay, they don't want you to know these things because then you're going to expose the liars out here. Okay, they know you can manifest power like you cannot believe. You'll turn, like I said, you don't even need to pay the electric bill, you turn the light on. <laughs> Your body's electricity and energy in itself. Yeah, that's the Holy Spirit. Since a Christian is going to tell me they know the most high. Whatever. You're going to find out this is how deceived you really are because the Holy Spirit is going to tell you what you have to do. That's why they said, get the book when it came out. He said, you go to this book. Your body is going to start to renew itself. They don't want people to know that. But you cannot use the power of Lucifer against him. It don't work that way. 
Oh, I use the power of the Almighty God. Uh huh. You sure? Because when you do that, you're going to get noticed. Trust me, don't think that people don't pay attention to what I do. But the Most High protects us and he hides us in this time. For many people who don't know, yeah, when you, in, the point is, when you're going to embarrass people that think they know and they, and they think they have, oh, yeah, I got it, I got it. Well, how come you didn't help the person stop smoking and I did? And it did, and I did it in one shot. They didn't have to go to, go to no, um, put a patch on the arm and these things and, and wean themselves off of it. The spirit was gone. Okay. Yeah, they don't want people to know these things. See, even the wind, you don't even know that they hear you talking and it frustrates them. So you even have the seven malakis. Um, another interpret that this, the spirits are seven angelic beings. Correct. They're umbasi. The most high, everything is umbasi. But you can manifest this all in one spirit because the Holy Spirit is all of these things. That's why when, 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 when uh, people don't even know, and I was going to talk about this by the brother who taught me this. Every one of the tribes had a, had a specialty that they did. Like his, he even said, we were responsible for making the outfits for the king. You have those who were used for fishing. You had those that they were used for um, construction. You had those that they were used for um, making um, uh like clothes, I mean, pottery and, and weaving these things, okay? You don't understand that Tatanzambi, that's why when he would do the, what you're going to see when he comes with his kingdom, every person is going to have a specialty. You're not going to all be doing the same thing. Like when you go to the factory and everybody's making one part and, and you pass it down and pass it down like that all the time, you know, I don't know who this is. Sorry, it's got a phone call from Texas. I have to call him back. Okay. That's the whole concept. And I'm going to go over, you know, the Torah, the names of these. So like it says it right here in Romans. And what the informant answered, I have reserved for myself 7,000 who have not bowed to need to Baal. Yes, you're going to witness these people. They're going to they're going to manifest that never bow down. Now watch this. Now summon the people from all of these to meet with me on Mount Carmel, Carmel. And I can tell you right now, this ain't where you think it is. They They made that over there. I know where it's at. They showed me, they, they gave me the hint of where it was. And bring the 450 prophets of B-A-A-L and the 400 prophets of A-S-H-E-R-H and eat at her Jezebel's table. This is in 1 King. Okay. Elia and Obadiah. After a long time in the third year, the word of Tatanzan became Elia. They call it Elijah, whatever. is. It was a Y, it wasn't a J. Go and present yourself to Ahab and I will send rain on the land. I will send the rain. Stop listening to the weatherman, my son. Ah, you're not, you're not listening to me at all. Oh, the, the weatherman said going to go. Hey, you go to church and you read the Bible, man. When it's raining, it's my, the Tanzani send the rain, man. King Congo is sending the rain, and he controls Baal, who is the one who did what? The thunder and lightning. 
We being so deceived, my son. Are you? Are you? And sit back home. Are you them damn stupid, my son? Okay? Now that the people came and teaching these things to us, when we knew what to do before, oh, this is a scientist. You're going to, this is how the right. You have been taking, your brain is gone out of your head. You waited for the weather, man. I didn't tell my wife. I said, yeah, I knew it was going to rain. That's why when I was listening to, um, and I, I agree with what he said, uh, Brother uh, Elder Joshua Mapanga. He's a, I, I listened to what he says. He said, when the weatherman says it's going to rain, it's good. But when somebody then comes and tells you it's going to rain, it's witchcraft. Ha ha. But yet the Bible even tells you you can discern the clouds, but you cannot discern who's standing in front of you. Mukuso Congo said that. You, you, the, the Jesus you think he said, oh, you can discern the weather, but you cannot discern who stands before you. That's how deceived Christians out here, oh, it looks like rain. But then they can't even comprehend the real Jesus who said, I can stop the rain. Who sends the rain? Who sends the snow? Who sends the wind? Do you see now why these people have, have lied to you for so long? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You're going to see these scientists going to be like, huh? How did they do that? They're going to be sitting there with their mouth open. Huh? I didn't know a human being could do something like that. <laughs> you're, going to, you're going to be choking. So Elia went to present himself the new famine. Now the famine was severe in Somalia. Samal, do you not see there's a famine now going on? Where is the famine in Africa right now? Somalia. It's severe again because you're, you're praying to Lucifer again. Oh, we Muslim, we Islam. Oh, but you have a famine. So why Allah in, in, the, in the famine, my son? Okay. Why did Allah not stop the famine in, in, in Somalia? You praying to Lucifer, I'm telling you. <laughs> and the summon, the print of the die was devout leader of Fumu. Well, it was killing off. See, now here she is. She come from Sidon. Sidon, once again, is what? The Philist, the, 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 uh, the the Persian kind of people, the the uh, Phoenician. She wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, did we not see this a uh, repeat? We coming back from Babylon with the people calling themselves Dan. They come killing us, you know, killing off the prophets. Why? Because you can see. Repeat, repeat, and eh, and eh, and eh, and. Eh. They out here killing the people that can see. Yes. <laughs> or trying to anyway. While Jezebel was killing off all the infamous prophets, Abadir had taken hundreds of prophets and hid in the cave. So now what we're telling you, if you can be a Nabi, who coming to kill you? This woman. This is how you know the churches are full of it, man. If you come with prophecy, this woman trying to kill you. Oh, I'm protected by the Lord, Jesus Christ, God, all of this stuff. Man. Oh, that's, next door. Okay. that's the next door neighbor, brother. Okay? Like, I'm sitting there telling my wife, I said, look, I can tell when Jezebel is getting strong. Because you don't, people don't want to listen. There's no focus, okay? Because the reality is <clears throat> you feed the flesh, she gets strong. You feel the spirit, she gets weak. Because she's all affiliated with Cain and Lucifer and everything. 
Lucifer's kingdom is one kingdom, people. The Most High kingdom is the other. That's why when he came and said, I cannot cast out demon in the name of Beelzebub. If you cannot raise some from somebody from the dead, you're praying to be Elzebub, man. Listen up. <laughs> this is the concept. The dead cannot raise the dead. Christianity is worshiping a dead God, and they all talk about, we're talking to the living God. Really? But yet you can't stop it from raining. Yet you can't tell the tornado, go that way. Yet you can't tell the flood that's coming to you, hey, get away from my house, man. But you're sitting there drowning, getting, getting out the rowboat as a Christian. Oh, my house just got flooded. You can talk to the water because you are acting as the creator in spirit. That's what the Holy Spirit is. We have talked about this in the, in the awakening. You, you, don't, you don't understand. They don't want to see people like this because then you expose the liars. That's why when you can, you want to come into a church, I can expose a pastor in two seconds with one question. Tell your, tell, tell, I say, can you tell your parishioners the name of the star that he was born under? Oh, he's going to walk away. I can't say that. No, 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 no. Don't ask me that question. I asked him about Hanukkah. Oh, we can't talk about him. No, I got to go the other way. No pastor who's trained in their profession, if they start speaking, somebody's going to tap them on the shoulder. Gosh. Then they're going to catch on. Oh, maybe this guy was not lying to me. Now they're telling me to shut up about things I know about. It will happen. Because you got to understand you may have a real Bantu, a real person in your congregation. You say too much, bing, oh, the light come on. Hey, what the heck? Okay, then they will see who's who out here. It's going to continue. They're going to keep popping up like popcorn, really. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, my gosh, what did we do? <laughs> see, the more, to see, the more truth we bring out, the more they got to compete. Well, guess what's going to happen? Uh-oh. We, we turned on this guy. Oh, we turned on that guy. See, and it works in the most high favor. They have to compete with the truth. Oh, but now you just turn on this guy. <laughs> Backfire. While you're trying to shut me down and compete with the truth that I'm talking about, you just turned on somebody to say, hey, this guy lying to me. Okay, the most high works like this. While you're trying to, to make him look bad, he'll turn around and make you look bad. Watch what's going to happen. Okay. Now it says Obadiah went to uh, and, and went, and when Leah said, "Is that you, the troubler of Yisraelite?" He said, "I have not made trouble of Yisraelite." Elia replied, "But you and your father's family, you have abandoned the Infumus command and have followed after the Baals. By the way, those are the Anunnaki. Those are the Nephilim. Now summon the people from all of Yisraelite to meet in Mount Carmel." And bring the 450 prophets. There go your nine right there. This is where they get the 45. That's why Trump is, when they say Trump is 45, yeah, because he's affiliated with these. And Baal and 400 prophets of Asherah to eat at her table. 
Okay. Now remember, I told you we're going to talk about the rod. This is what that looks like. You tell me you don't ever see these here around America and places? You fool yourself. See? This is in this. <laughs> you don't see this in Washington, D.C., and they're calling it the Ashira Pole. <laughs> okay? You see now? Oh, but the, the so called people. This is supposed to be an abomination. So what is it doing in 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 around the Washington D.C.? What's it doing in Rio de Janeiro? What's it doing in in, in in Argentina? What's it doing in the middle of um Europe? What's it doing in the um what do you call them the graveyards? Okay. Elias said, I am the only one of the infumers left, but Baal has 450 prophets. And this, these are our people now. The Banabeto of Isolele. Okay? And this is when he's going to do the thing with the bulls. And they shouted louder. He said he was asleep and he made fun of them. Okay? You're gonna, there's going to come a time where this is going to be repeated in the presence of the Christians. This is why Tatanzami is going to say, you call upon your Jesus and I'm going to bring my power and let's see who's who out here. It's going to happen. And then you saw what happened to the prophets. This is why Bantu people who are preaching the scriptures of Rome Okay, and not being honest about it. This is what Toko was saying. If you out here pray preaching this wicked gospel, I'm you're gonna get destroyed, and you're gonna be shocked to see who those people are. Because see, I watch the people. You, you don't understand. The people in the Hebrew Israelites, they're cutting the check from the Kabbalah. This is why they get to go and do what they do. You think they're not? You're going to find out you got it all wrong. They got to go to the bank and cast the check. Who wrote that check? Where did it come from? The numbers on the bottom. That's not that, that's not the most highest bank. You're gonna see this happen. Oh, that's God's bank. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Then why do I have so many people with disparity in wealth if this is my bank? When that's not how I play the game with them. Did you see a disparity in wealth? Okay, when the Abba Fundi was coming and they did, and they redistribute the wealth the, the way, they said, "Hey, don't you? We're going to redistribute to the poor. You cannot have a mega pastor and people poor if they redistributing the wealth to the poor. They're not doing it. Rome is not coming out here." They sitting there talking about, look how poor everybody is. Hypocrite. Go look at the Vatican. Holy cow. It's covered in gold. Are you giving pieces of gold off of your church to the people that are hurting? I don't think so. Oh, they come with this. Oh, yes, we're going to come give you. Wait a minute. But how did they get poor in the first place? A lot of these people and places they were were not poor before Rome got there, especially us. Congo, where you see it now, 
was not even close to being in the poverty that it was in 500 years ago. They are lying to you. Not even close. Africa and these regions. Now, there were other places that were dealing with things like the, like he says in Second Ezra, when they when they when they still don't they do wickedness, they still have prosper. Yeah, because the devil just paid people to also do wickedly. That's why you have these rich oil producing Saudi Arabians. while they still have the poor Saudi Arabians. But then try to make everybody in good standing. You see what they do to Gaddafi, right? He got the most high turn him. Hey, we got to change this. Yeah, this is what happened to anybody. We're going to fix this. They tried to do it to Toko. They couldn't stop him. What the heck? Who is this guy? Toko and Kimbanga were trying to make it better for the bottom people. Look what they did to King. King said, I got to help the poor. Cacao. Got a bullet. You don't understand this. You cannot have so many homeless people with big old wealthy churches all over the place with big collections that say, oh yeah, we opened a pantry, we got a soup kitchen. Like the one guy was telling in the story, he said the person in San Francisco was over the homeless, he gets paid 300 and something dollars a, a, a year. And he had a budget in the millions. He said, now why would he put himself out of a job? and solve the homeless problem. Making three, driving a nice car, living in a nice house, but he's over the homeless. He should be fired. It, look at this place. It's horrible. Is he fired? No. That's why Tatan Zombie's like, you people have lost your minds. They are not trying to feed. Or, or go feed the hungry. Go do these things. Open the soup kitchen up. Oh, we're running out of money. How? Go collect things. Go do it. You got billionaires standing up there. And big businesses, big companies all around this place. And where are they sending the money? What did they just vote on? Who runs America? Who runs the world for real? The Luciferian elites, people. But now the Most High said, hey, go back to the scripture. This is what Tatan Zombie is doing. I can't remember the, the scripture. This is what the Most High is doing with everybody. Revelation 2.11. Now you see where the number, the numerology fits in. That how they, they say they're using the Bible as a playbook. 22.11. Then he told, do not seal the words of the prophecy in this book because the time is near. Let the unrighteous continue to be unrighteous and the vile continue to be vile. Let the righteous continue to practice righteousness and the holy continue to be holy. That's why you're seeing, okay, I don't like what these people are, are doing out here. The most High is like, hey, let them keep doing their thing. Because it's gonna it's gonna impact them anyway. I was talking to this brother, you know, it bothers him about what happens when people are talking about the most high. Hey, they've been doing this from the beginning and doing the, the vile stuff. Read this scripture. 
You can't stop people because it's meant to be like this. If the Christians think that their churches are doing righteously when they can't even deal with the demons of, that are actually out here, they have no power. If they really had the power, okay, they would see a person really change in a way like, and then they will actually see what's going on around them and what's affecting them. They will know the demons that are involved. Name everything. Okay? But let them continue. That's why I said, I came out of the nonsense because I saw it. If other people don't want to, as I said, if people, like I saw the NFL draft. I know people who played in the pros. Okay? And all of them said, yeah, God blessed me, and I was poor. I said, you should have, the problem is, no, you should have never even had to go to the NFL to become rich in the first place. That's the problem. Because the societies that we lived in in the past, you could build your house on your own property, no big deal. You could have wealth and everything, and they, you don't even know what they did in these places. They made the system that way to create the need to funnel you into a system where you remain exploited. The more our God is, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how deceived these pastors have it out here. When does it ever say in the Bible? And I have, that's why I got out of it. I said, wow, you know, I never looked at it this way. When does it say in the Bible, the creator said, you got to go damage your body to get money? Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Read. That's not how it works. Did Adam and Eve have to go put on pads to go run around and knock each other out to get the most high blessing? I don't think so. Where did they have to do it in his kingdom? It was Rome that had out people out here with the, with the gladiator thing going on. It's a lie. You are doing it for the Jesus that they claim that they, they, wrote, they wrote the name in the Bible. Now you think it's true. That don't mean it's true just because they put it there. They wrote it. The most, oh yeah, God wrote this. No, he did not. He is not going to put a name that he didn't himself use. Oh, I know where his name came from. Yeah, the sorcerer. He claimed to be the pig god. Jesus. That they used to worship. He said, oh, I'm that god right there, that Jesus guy. That's how Greek and them got confused. Yesterday did not call himself no Jesus. I'm telling you, you're going to be disappointed. There's nobody in the kingdom with this name. Toko and Kimbangu, they know. Kristu, Kuswa Kongo, Desire. Okay. So, Nini Nanini, Mesindisi. We know these things. But he said, I came in my father's name. Because the power, I keep trying to tell you, his, the power does not come from him. So, they got you singing this song. There's power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. When he does, the power doesn't even come from him. None of the angels operate off the power of the Messiah. It's a lie. The power comes from the Father. Verse 
But if you are not able to control the nature or the nature does not even recognize you, you are doing something wrong. This is what I tell myself. I should have, you, you shouldn't have a problem. You should have the strength like, like, like Davidi. Tore the lion, jacked the lion up. Samson, oh, the lion was torn to bits. I show you Master called the lion like a puppy. <laughs> okay. King Congo, the Tanzami, and Pungu is all power. He raised Yona back up as he got eaten by the whale because he was disobedient. I don't want to go to Nineveh. They're not going to listen to me anyway. I said, go anyway. That was the whole reason. But see, Masindisi, he was willing. He said, I have this cup. No, I'm going to do it. And of course, the whole time frame of that is way off, as you will see. But it is what it is. That's why he said, let these people continue to believe what they want. Let these people continue to act how they want. Let these people continue to think what they think. There's nothing you can do about it. They want to be deceived by the people who think that Esau is Jacob and Jacob is Esau. Go right ahead. They're going to pay for it. And they're paying for it now. Somebody just died today and got found out, oh, wait a minute. I got it way wrong. You're going to see this, man. Your, your loved one's going to come back and say, oh, you know, he, he talked. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Okay? You're going to meet these people and you're going to find these things out. They are not up there. <laughs> like you think. He says, you must what? Always follow the spirit. Even me, I have to be on that piece. I have to always remember this. If I'm not listening to the spirit, I'm not going up there. There are people convinced they're listening to the spirit of the most high. No. How can you be? You don't even know that there's angels and everything, can you move them? This is why they're not teaching you right. Can you move that angel? Can you do, can you do what it takes to get them to do what it needs to do? Do you know the procedure on how you get it done? There's literally a scripture I think it's called, uh, I can't call it. I know, I'll see if I can find the guy. He put it in his, in, his, in his thing. I'll pull it up where he said, the Messiah even said, you honor these things, but you don't worship them. Just so they don't injure you. Okay. But he talked about the fact that even the most high, who has nothing to do with these things knows okay that they are still beings of power but they are not to be worshipped that way what they have done to you and many people is you are worshipping the creation oh there's a guy who said oh you don't worship because you are self of a god I say you're listening to a false god a false demon you always give praise and work. I said the Maliki Kongos are always singing praise to the Most High. You fool yourself. And they were bowing down to Adama. When he was like the Most High, they were bowing down to him.
The Maliki Congo were bowing down to him. Lucifer is the one that said, I'm not bowing down. No. People don't get it. When that's why Kusa Kong, that's why everything about Revelation 3 and 9 is saying the world is refusing to bow down to our God. And then you have people bowing down, thinking they're bowing down to our God when they're not. They're, they're totally being confused. Every Sunday, every Friday, every Saturday, wherever they go to worship, whatever day of the week they go, they are bowing down to this Thundercat. Is really what they call him in the mockery. The, the Thundercat is 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 the is is uh Nimrod. Thunder, 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 thunder cats. Yeah, that's the bales. <laughs> they they put it in everything, cartoons, all kind of stuff. All, all of these versions of the thunder gods is who you're praying to. They even have the name. We used to sing a song, uh, Peace Be Still. They even have the name, The Tempest is Railing. Well, that's the name of the Roman mythology god. Okay? Your print, your this is the, a Roman god's name. They put it all in there. See there? <laughs> the word that what you eat is sweet is the name of a thunder god. Sugar. <laughs> okay? For Basque. You have people named uh, Pickney. And look at there. Estonian. They throw it all in there. And there he go. German mythology. Tor. Yeah, he came to pay me. The, my, my wife said it shook the house. Yeah, he, he's mad because what I'm doing is I'm showing people to stop bowing down to these pagan gods. So now he upset. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, that's a, you just have an imagination. No, my wife said that it was loud. Even she said I woke up in my sleep. And I didn't remember. And you think there's just normal, oh, clashing and the clouds banging together. No, man. They making this stuff up because now you will actually know what to do to stop them. These rich people and these people that's hiding behind the veil, they talking to these gods and they full of it. Oh, yes, they are. And you're going to see this. I'm going to do the book of truth and I'm supposed to get into that. But like I said, there's a scripture in Ezra. I'll try to find it where he says, when the people come back, there'll be those who are rejoicing. If I, you can put it in, in the chat and I'll pull it up for later. Um, there will be those who will be sorrowful because they didn't know. And then there's going to be those who were bound. Those who are going to be bound are going to be the people who led us to the pit. They all got to face this stuff. All right. The gospel of truth. The gospel of truth is joyous to those who have been given the mercy of knowing the creator of truth through the power of wisdom that rose from the spiritual realm and the savior and who is in the heart and mind of the creator. So right there, you have to be, in order to be talking to the most high, you have to be on his mind and in his heart. Not everybody's there. He don't see a lot of people. Being named for the work of he does for the deliverance of those who did not know the creator. Okay, you're not going to know the creator with the stuff that Rome taught you. You're not going to know the creator with the stuff the Protestants are teaching. You're not even going to know the creator with the stuff that's being taught to the Orthodox Christians. That's how we're trying to tell you 
It was our job. We knew him. And we messed it up. That's why it's important to connect with people who actually know the creator. For within the name of the gospel is the potential for hope, the discovery of those who search for him. You know why people, they, they go, oh, we're searching for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Do you know his name? Do you know who he is? Do you know his people? This is part of the deception of the people who cut off the access. The creation was inside of him who is unlimited and inconceivable and greater than every thought, but ignorance of the creator produced fear and anxiety. Where does fear and anxiety come from? <laughs> Let me say it again. Where does fear and anxiety come from? These are demons, by the way. Ignorance of the creator. If you know the creator and you're really worshiping the spirit and the truth, there's no fear and there's no anxiety. That's why you're living in a system that they're creating this on purpose, fear and anxiety. Anxiety enveloped them like a fog, blinding their vision. Yeah, you cannot see spiritually when you're under anxiety and fear. Thus, wickedness became strong and operated foolishly within its own matter, being ignorant of the truth, for this, from this, the substitute for truth became born in the creation with strength and beauty. That's why you see people that look strong and you see people look handsome and beautiful, but yet they don't have the truth. That's why they do things to their own body that they shouldn't be doing. For this, then, not a humbling before him, the eternal inconceivable one, because it was simply suffering in ignorance and the embodiment of illusion, whereas the eternal truth is unchangeable, unaffected, and perfectly beautiful. Meaning, the truth makes you perfect in every way. It doesn't change and it's not affected. So when people keep talking about, oh, we had the authority to change, we had authority to change, they are hypocrites. They are ugly inside and they are not in the truth. This is why the most highest truth will make you see the beauty who you are and it won't affect you at all, okay? Therefore, do not abide in wickedness as it has no foundation. This is why they want you living in a world surrounded by it. Because now your foundation is not there. That's why you run to and fro to every doctrine. Okay? Because there is no sound doctrine. The sound doctrine comes from the spiritual realm itself. That's why you can get hooked on listening to an imposter easily. Or because they have knowledge, you think that they're smart. That doesn't mean that. Okay? Foundation comes from the word inside of you. If he's not there, you have no foundation. You really don't have the truth. So you're living in a world where you struggle with fear and anxiety. That's why we cannot abide in wickedness. We have, to, we have to free ourselves from it. Okay? It was engaged in the deeds of forgetting it and fear so that there would be enticed those of the middle and imprison them. How do you get imprisoned and lose your crown? When you are engaged in deeds of forgetfulness and fears. So you become a slave to the people who keep you in this mindset. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my house. Oh, God, pray on it, pray on it, pray on it. Everything's about prayer. 
No, you also have to know how to act, what to do when these things happen. The ignorance of wickedness was not revealed. It did not overcome with the, with the it did not uh, originate with the create with the creator. I'm sure that means originated with him because the Most High is not ignorant at all. Ignorance does not exist in the creator, although it exists because of him. That's why we talk about he separated himself with the wicked and the good, and he allows the ignorance to go out. That's why he says, I will put you under a strong delusion when you are ignorant of the creator. That's why nobody knows who we're talking about, because they were ignorant of him. What exists with the creator is knowledge, correct, revealed in order to destroy ignorance so that they may come to know the creator. That's why you can't teach this to everybody, what we're teaching them, because of what I said in Revelations. If they're going to remain ignorant, let them stay that way. They cannot comprehend if they don't think that they're ignorant. That's why, that's what stiff-necked and bullheaded and stubborn means. Because ignorance is Cain. Ignorance is Esau. Ignorance is Lucifer. That's why they think that they'll always have the advantage when they're always at the disadvantage. They don't even know. They think they will always win when they will always lose. Okay? This is the gospel of him whom they search for, revealed perfectly to the mercies of the creator, the hidden mystery that Kuso Congo, the anointed of Messiah, Christu. Again, there is no Jesus. That's the sorcerer. Though him, him, those who are the darkest of ignorance were enlightened, be enlightened them and showed them the path of truth that he taught them. <clears throat> so what does that mean? As a person that was talking about the pineal gland, I'm going to play the video one if I find it again. In order to teach light, you must have light. You cannot teach light if you are dark. Meaning, the spirit of the light does not dwell within you or never did or you never had a deliverance of the truth. If you never had a real deliverance, you could have never known the light. Okay, so you have to be enlightened. That's why he means when he says the blind lead the blind into the ditch. When they think they have the truth, but are believing the lies. That's why he knew people would come and misuse the, talk, the teachings. In order to be like the Messiah, you have to imitate what he did. That's what this really means. And when he imitates what he does, it's not going to conflict with what the Father wants. That is what it means when it says you are a mirror of him and his way. Then the Father will also see you the same. This did not come from Christianity, people. They twisted this so that you would not have light, but just be a robot. And that's what you are today. You just do what they tell you, how they tell you, with no light. That's why those who have light that can teach this, they want to destroy you. They try to destroy me so many times. Because they knew you're going to comprehend what they don't want you to comprehend. They don't want you to comprehend this. You comprehend this, you're more powerful than the president of the United States. You're more powerful than the king of England. You're more powerful than anybody out here. 
okay? They will be intimidated. They will be intimidated by you. Is that happening when you go outside? If people, are you intimidating force to people? No. Meaning when I say intimidating is like, oh, at any moment, this person could do some things to me by one word. Okay. Because of this wickedness, abhorred him, denied him, persecuted him, removed him, and he was nailed to the tree. He became the means of knowing the creator. That's really what happened here. Because Cain was ignorant. All of these other false gods were ignorant. They're still ignorant today. That's why they still think that they have the advantages. Like, no, <laughs> you're going to find out. Consuming this causes no destruction for it. Consuming this causes no destruction from its acceptance. Rather, those who accept it become uh, umbote by discovering it and discover themselves in the process. No, you will know who you are. You will not be ignorant to self, meaning that you will know where kingdom you came from. Or we all came from God's kingdom. You're going to be shocked. There's Mama Malia, who is Mama Elwa, and then there's Mama, and then there's the wicked Mama Lily. I don't call her my mama because I don't accept her. I hate her. But the problem is, she is a lot of people's mama that you're going to be like, oh no, I didn't know. <laughs> yep. You're going to see who you are because you can own, because all the other nations, all of the other nations, she was their mother. That's why they kept making these things. And but she was never supposed to be ours. But we did, we kept, we never learned. We went right back out to the stupid witch again. And now that we, we're suffering because she can't stand you because of what Tatan Zombie did to her. That's why nobody knows who he is. That's why she's not in the Bible. That's why nobody knows a clue. Because now when you know who you are, you see the difference between her and the other woman. Now you understand what to do. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Christian's going to say that woman didn't exist. Her name's not in the Bible. Yeah, they did that for a reason. <laughs> oh, it's not written in the Bible. I reject it. And they stay blind because they wrote her out of the Bible, of the scriptures. Because we had her in there. We knew who she was. Now we're clueless because we went we in the siren song. Oh, go to sleep. Beautiful voice. Oh, so beautiful. Yeah, but you're sleeping. Sleepwalking. Regarding the unfallible, unknown one, the creator, the perfect one who made everything. Within him is the creation, and the creation depends upon him. That's why when you know him, the creation will recognize you. You don't have to be like how what Cain's mentality, oh, I got to dominate it. I got to control it. I got to subdue it. That's the Lucifer. Because... When he turned opposite the father, the creation no longer recognized him. That's why he wanted to change it so he could put it like the creation could see who he is. That's where the unclean and clean came about. Okay. While he retained the perfection within himself, that he hadn't given to the creation, the creator is never envious. This is Banabetu's problem right here. This is the Bakongo, Benanzambi, 
Negroes, we became envious. Green with envy. That means when you're envious, you now become Lucifer. Oh, you look at them shoes. I wish I had them shoes like that. Oh, look at why do you think they condition us to this mentality? Oh, bro, look at them clothes you got on, man. How you do that? This is part of the way that they condition our mind. Oh, look at that nice car, that Cadillac rolling. I got to get me one of them. That's the way the devil plays the game. Envy is his game, not the most highs. Certainly, envy between himself and it does not arise. For this is the mention that has preceded the perfection. And I'm going to put, and the one is saying, the interpretation would be of this, the, the mention that received the perfect, perfection of looking or imitating the creator. So like I said, when you have the most high, you will know him, you will imitate him to the world. That's how he says, my children will know me. Those who are no longer my children, they will never know me. That's what Hosea chapter four means. My people are not, you don't know me? That's why when people now telling me, I don't know no Congo, I don't know no Tatanzambi. Yeah, because you lost what it looks like to look like, and the Christian church has no clue. Because they are not resembling him at all. Or else you would draw so much attention from the people who would be shocked at the things that you would do. But see, that's when the sorcerer is going to always show up because he's the showman. I don't want to see my Amonas coming out of here. This is where we're talking about false spirits. The minute someone comes to tell you how to be a Maya Mona, they're going to try to cut that person off. Nope, 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 nope. That's not, that guy's a, that guy's false. That's not true. That's the role of the gatekeeper. That's the role of the overseer. That's the role of the taskmaster. Keep him where we want him or her. Don't let them go to the side where they should be. You don't understand. This world is designed to be a slave driver. That's why they call it what is your task of the day. They condition you that from school. You don't even know this is the conditioning you get from first to second to third to fourth to fifth. That's why we struggle with it as Banabetu because we come from the kingdom where this is not how the Most High operates. Our creator taught us what to do from the beginning. For each person has an individual job from within whatever uh, kingdom they came from. And the math don't add up because he did math totally different than what these schools are doing. So you're confused. Wait, this don't feel right. Okay. And the teachers who run the schools, they are trained to keep you on the task of what who wants, not the creator, the people who pay the check. The people who pay the check are not on the same frequency with our father at all. Just like the person who pays the check for the pastor, 
he got to preach according to what the, what does it say? The mission of this church, you got to preach like that. Bring souls to Jesus Christ. You don't get it. You have to be on the list from the beginning. He that's, Don't even read what he said. I picked you before the foundation was laid. That's why the, the, the imposter was trying to copy that with his oracle. And his false disciples, they jacked up everything when they were in Mesopotamia, doing the most wickedest things, just like what happened with the sorcerer, and it's happening now. It just stays on the download. You don't see it because we gotta act, we can't, we can't, we gotta masquerade. You don't know what these people are doing behind closed doors in order to make maintain what they have in with these churches. It's gonna shock you. Because when you don't have the Holy Spirit, you have no clue what the other members are really doing behind your back. But when you do, oh, you're going to know. And that's going to bother them because then you can expose and they don't want you around at that point. They don't want people who can see around because then they're afraid of something that you might expose. Okay. I know what I'm struggling with every day. Okay. The problem is I also know who's behind it and what they're trying to do. And that's why they don't want me around because I, I, I let them know what they're doing. Regarding the unfallible and unknown one, the creator, the perfect one who made everything within him is the creation. He maintains their perfection within. See, he maintains their perfection within himself, bestowing it upon them to return to him and his uniquely perfect knowledge. Why do you think it talks about when it says he's hammering you and remolding you and reshaping you until you finally look like what? Polished. But there's a lot of you he's going to say, he said, oh, psh, I'm just, I didn't waste my time no more. I, I can't get it polished. He knew that from the beginning. Okay. It's just like when you're dealing with the child, okay? He remembers who you, he knows you. He's like, yeah, you were my family. It's just like when you have parents. I can still call my mom and dad, even though my mom and dad don't agree with me. Oh, yeah, but we still know you, okay? Because you still, I, you're still my, my child, but you're no longer like how we are. We can't, we can't interact the way that we like to. I have to rebuke that. But that's the issue. That you have been conditioned in this society that you have raised your child up the way they should go when you never are. So he's looking at the whole situation like, no, nah, you got it all wrong. He has to rebuke you because he's in a place where he knows that they're actually purposefully leading him astray and stealing power and they're lying about it. That's what they don't see. Okay? So it isn't like we didn't leave the church. We didn't leave the we didn't leave the truth. The, the, we didn't leave learning about the truth. We realize, hey, this place is not giving me power it's taking it and that's why i can't be there or they won't want me there because i know that okay the messiah you follow must charge you not drain you period He created everything, and within him is everything, and everything depends on him. As for the persons who are ignorant, he wants them to come to know him and love him. 
why do you think we're doing this? Especially Banabetu of Isolele. He wants them to know, but he says, hey, I know who's going to know me and who's going to say, nope, this ain't for me. I'm out. I'm going to stay where I'm at. Thank you very much. I don't need to know any about that. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll stay where I'm at. Oh, I already know him. You don't need to tell me. I already, thank you. Have a good day. I know God. I know Jesus. I know Allah. I know. Okay. Have a nice day. You kick rocks. It's like they don't kick. They kick rocks. Oh, my pastor told me, and I don't. I'm going to stay with this name. I'm, I'm going to do, I, I, I'm not going to go that route. I think that's Lucifer over there. Fine. But here comes the reality of this. Here comes the reality. Why? Why does the church teach the same thing over and over and over with so much knowledge that they don't talk about? Why do you not comprehend what I'm telling you when I say it, but you are convinced that I'm the crazy one? It's like we told you, oh, everything was fine if God is looking like the white folks or even the Asians or what the his or even maybe in the Hispanics. But oh, he could never look, never never let him look black. Why is that a problem? Like I said, he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the father. So now if you say he was a Bantu, Chiluba, a Bakongo, a Benanzambi, a Beni Isolele, then what are you doing bowing down to Rome's deception? Or being tricked by another Bantu who could be black, but he himself does not know the Most High, but he is a warlock or a wizard. Happens all the time, people. It happens in churches. You see? Then why does the creation have this need of knowledge regarding the creator? He became a peaceful and gentle guide. He appeared within school speaking the wisdom as a teacher. Those who were wise in their own estimation approached and tested him, but he confounded them with their foolishness. And that's why I tell you, if you truly know the Messiah, <clears throat> this is why Christians will get mad. You can actually confound them in their foolishness. Okay, I've, I've done this to many people. And all they can come back with is what they have been programmed with all the time. And that's what they'll do. Oh, but this and this and that. Oh, but they'll just keep quoting scripture. Okay. But show me, where have you imitated the Messiah at all in everything that he did and more? Where's your examples of the things that he did and more? Since you say you know him, show me the evidence that you walked in his same way. Raise the dead, make the blind see, make the lame walk, make the deaf hear, multiply the bread. Where is that? Water unlimited. This is the issue. Afterwards, humble children approach to whom belongs the knowledge of the creator. After being strengthened, they learn of the creator's characteristics. Hello, what are the characters? Okay, 
So you go as a Christian, what are the true characteristics of the creator? Nobody's seen the creator. Huh? Right here. They learn of the characteristics of the creator. What are his characteristics? <clears throat> they came to know and were known. They glorified and were glorified. In their hearts became manifest the essential wisdom of life. The wisdom of life will embarrass the fools. You will know how to solve problems that they themselves can't find the answers. You will know exactly how to fix something that they themselves don't know how to fix. You won't just imitate the leaders that are talking to you. You will actually know exactly how to operate and do exactly what needs to be done to deal with the issue. You won't have to sit there with a frustrated child and say, man, I don't know what to do with this child. He just won't do this. He won't, won't. okay. The father knows. Why don't you, since you have a relationship with the creator? Oh man, I don't know what to do about this job. I don't know what to, I'm so frustrated. Then that means you lack wisdom because the father knows everything on how you deal with your situations. I don't know what to do about this person that's frustrating me. I don't know how to do. I don't know. It's because you are looking for the easy way. This is the mentality of the American dream. I don't want to have to work so hard. I just want to know how to do it. No. There is still a way to have to work with the creator. No different. You have to train. You have to do these things. It doesn't just come to you overnight. Christianity is deceiving you. You have to practice. <laughs> That's what he was doing when he was, you want to know what he was doing? He was practicing the time before he started to come out and be perfect. I now I know how to do this. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. He was practicing and preparing and visiting the holy places between the time he was a young child to when he was an adult. So that when he showed up, I have it mastered with my father. I know exactly how to play this out, even though I've seen it from the beginning. Okay? And the devil, of course, was running his interference, but he couldn't do it. Okay? That which one no one has been able to receive, it is at the left to who will sacrifice everything for it. See right here? The glorified, written from the heart and the mind of the creator, which from the before the creation, everything was unable, that which no one was able to receive, is at the left to the one who sacrificed everything for it. Okay? That's why, you know, one of the things they say, you will leave, when you find a pearl, you will leave everything else behind and go sell it and go get it. How many people really do that? <clears throat> the appearance of that wisdom became manifest among those who trust in salvation. Thus the merciful, faithful Yeshua persisted in accepting suffering until receiving that wisdom, for he knew his persecution meant the life for others. So that means when we are persecuted for real, it is the life for others. Because then they 
will benefit. You don't see many people getting persecuted under these false beliefs. Oh, but they imitate it though. Just as the wealth of the deceased householder lay hidden within the will, the creation lies hidden while the creator of everything was unseen. This is from him, from whom every universe originates. As a result, in Fumu Yusu appeared, he availed that wisdom, he was nailed to the tree, he broadcast the will of the creator on the stake. Do you now understand why every single person who followed him was dealing with some kind of physical, physical chastisement because they will never want to see you whole again because they hate the wisdom of the father all right i'm gonna stop there i'm gonna do a little bit of dancing today um, i'm put on some music and i hope that people will understand is that this, this, there is nothing easy. Malembe, malembe with the Father. It is a practice. Okay? You have had your brain removed from your head in religion, thinking that it's just going to happen overnight. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. No, because then you're irresponsible with it. You do things you should not do. Because you don't have the comprehension of the characteristics of what the father is wanting to do versus what he doesn't want to do. Okay? That's why anybody can sit out here and start talking scriptures and doing these different things and learning knowledge. But will you see the spirit that's talking to you through the person? When I see these people standing out there talking, Hebrew Israelites, church pastors, when I see people like Farrakhan teaching, don't think that I don't see the spirit that's inside of them too. They don't want you to see that. It's not just about watching the person talking to you. It's also about seeing the spirit in them that's talking back. And that's where the sorcerer blinds people when you believe something that isn't true. You need Tatanzami to lift that veil so that you don't just see the person in the flesh. You see the spirit inside of them. What's going on? I know that we are sitting here in turmoil that people may see this, but now you will see who's behind it. I know the people that want to destroy me because I know what they're trying to do. They want to make my life a living hell because they don't want to give up what they feel that they've worked so hard to have over the last 400 years when in reality they did not accomplish anything because you're begging to be something that you don't need to be. That's the problem. You're trying to become something that we never needed to become because we were never supposed to be like them they were supposed to be like us, period. This is what we keep forgetting.
We didn't need to be like what the Christians are doing. We didn't need to be like the Muslims are doing, the Jewish people or, or Buddha or whatever religion. They needed to be like what we were doing. Abantwe, people of the way. The Christians had no clue what they have been doing. It is the people in covenants with the Most High who are supposed to teach the way he wants us to teach, not the way they taught us to teach. That whole slave mentality from the man sitting in the, in the pulpit, from the guy watching the slave master is still there now. Never changed. You never see who's talking to you. When I watch these people on YouTube, when I watch these people out here talking, they don't know what spirit they have that's under the spells to act the way they are. And soon you will find out, oh, what was inside of that person? Because this is what creates your blockages. And I understand what I'm getting. It's like I told my wife, it's like, look, this is the issue. You have to feed the spirit more than the flesh. Or you will remain in bondage. But they don't understand that concept because they don't know the most high about the spirit and the flesh to afflict what that really un what that really means. Okay? Zola Quingi and Sam Bololo in the Wizard of the Congo Vitrala. Let me get this music going. Again, I don't own the rights to the music. It's not for redistribution of any kind. It's only for the edification of this channel. <laughs>
Mama Mafuta, Milia Makongo. Katanzambe Isayele Gwenda means Israel is on the move. All right. All right, Wakanda family. Uh, King Twadi, it's time for us to really start to grow. I've had a chance to speak to some people. I'm glad that we have interactions. Um, you know, and it's going to get, you know, as we talk about people talking about the spiritual realm and the interactions and the characteristics of the Most High, which I am learning, Amaleki Congo imitates Amaleki Congo. An angel of the Most High imitates an angel of the Most High, meaning the Father is present when you imitate the Father to others. The world will not only have a problem with you, but they will know that they have been embarrassed. And this is where you got to understand. Not everybody's going to accept this. Because the devil hates to be embarrassed. So he always want payback. But now comes the time when he no longer will have this opportunity 
because he is through. All of these people that think they know are going to get embarrassed and they're going to look like they're going to be in shame. Like, oh, wow. I thought, no. You're listening to a wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, they sing beautiful songs. Oh, they were so good in their thing. But were you causing the sheep of the Most High to stop sinning against him? And were you really bringing them to the shepherd? Oh, no, all of us can go. We're all the same. All of us can go. We're all the same. Not even the Bible says that. There's a place, but the Most High always kept his children in a higher regard. That is why you're going to see now who did he really love and who really did he not have a, a want anything to deal with. Because they wanted to remain ignorant. The knowledge is out here, people. We have told people what to do. There's not much more we really can say at this time. It's all about choice now. Do you want to keep believing that the way they taught you our father is true in the churches and, and Islam and Judaism? That's your choice. But we're going to show you is we messed up as a people, as the Bakongo, Benan Zambi, NEC, Solele, we messed up letting the other nations teach the way that we should have taught to them. And now the world's paying for it because they have become ignorant of who King Congo really is. They don't even know who he is. Not, they don't even know the name. They have not, they, like, they're coming up with all different kinds of names. It's like, yeah, I'm a Congo. So ni na nini. Tatanzambi Mpungu. Modimo. Elimo. He's not a Yiddish speaking God. Aramaic is not his main language. Islam, English for sure. Okay. That's the concept. There's going to be a pure language and it's not going to be English for sure. And it sure as heck ain't going to be Spanish, Latin, or French, or none of these other languages that they have indoctrinated to people. You are worshiping the Baals. That's why you remain spiritually blind to who we are and to who you are when it comes from the eyes of the Father. No pagan... No one bowing down to idols is acceptable in the sight of the Father, me included, any form of idols. And this is what we're fighting every day is to stay away from the idols that they want to force on us. And this is what they're trying to do subliminally through all the things that they do. They want you to remain an idol worshiper like them. And they're covering it up. It's like, why would I want to keep bowing down to something that is dead, that has proven to me never had life and never had power the way it should? And that would be the undoing of so many of these people who have controlled you with their wealth, influence, because you don't understand they're handing the paycheck over to Esau. Thank you. And they're not questioning what is it that I'm really doing here. Because like I said, these paychecks are going to start, are going to stop really soon. This money is going to stop really soon. The finances is going to end really soon because the people who are paying you at the top are going to cease being able to do so. Then what? 
Wait, what what happened? What 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 happened was what, what what's going on? Why is the bank shut down? Why is my pension gone? What, what where, where's my retirement? You're going to see this because it wasn't real. And they lied about it because where they were getting it from had nothing to do with our father because they were the thief. That's when people will know who's who out here. Ingeta, Sambula, Lozolokwe. 